Hey, look. Hey. A camera. Hi. I didn't really see you there. I have my backpack, but I'm not going to school. I'm going to surprise backpack video. If you don't know what that is, it's when I take a backpack, fill it with toys, and then show you them. So, I have that, so let's get started. Okay, guys, so I'm not sure exactly how many toys it's in here. I think maybe ten. So, I'm going to open up the bag, and we are going to look at some surprise toys. So I have, oh my goodness, the little tykes camera. Let's turn this thing on. I know it works. Go, it's turned on. This is pretty old. I used to use it. Let's take a picture of filming. Oh, I think it worked. There we go. Let's see it. Okay, let me make sure in the camera you can see it. <laughs> it's not a very good picture. Maybe we'll try one with a flash. No, that one doesn't have a flash. Oh, because it was on automatic. Still no flash. Whatever. This is a great toy. Little takes camera. For kids to take their first picture with one. I think this is my first camera. No video, it's just pictures though. Bad. That's one toy. Ooh, look at this. This is a frisbee. Maybe I'll test that. No. I'm pretty sure it works. It started off as a blank. Um, something's flashing. I don't want to show you. A blank white frisbee. And in third grade, we all decorated them. So I drew a picture of my dog, Shannon. I think she died that year. Maybe that's why. And I just decorated all around her. It's really cool. I think we did it on field day. And I wrote my name on the back. <laughs> Yep. Two. Okay. How about... Well, this thing's flashing. It really wants me to show you. Look at this. Tinkerbell from Disney World. It's a wand. Let's see, look. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. It has a bunch of different settings. I hope the camera's picking up all the flashes because it's really cool. And then you just hold it down to turn it off. It's really cool. Look at that. He Bam. Oh wait, it wasn't on. <laughs> well, that was three toys. Put over here with our pile. I'm just keeping a pile on my floor over there. <laughs> I only have eight. Okay, <laughs> I have four more apparently. No, five. Five more. Three plus four. Not equal eight. Looks like I need to go back to kindergarten now. <laughs> uh, no. Well, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, wow! This is a Barbie horse. Apparently, I've done her hair up. Braid her tail, and I put this little. It's actually really cute. That thing in it. It's like a clip. And then her hair, her mane, I should say, has the same little clip, but it just pulled to the side. It's not like. Doesn't even have a hair elastic in it like this one. This one has a hair elastic. So she's a really cool horse. I've named her Taylor when I got her. She runs. She's got this. I don't know what that's called. The, the lead. My best friend is obsessed with horses, so I learned a lot of stuff from her. And then watch all she can do. Watch this. Oops, it did not go very well. Let me try that again. Doesn't this? That. So when she's like riding, or, like when she's jumping, whoops, her legs keep snapping. <laughs> she's pretty cool. Barbie can ride her. She's pretty awesome. Four. Four awesome toys. Halfway there. Okay. Oh, yes. Girls just want to have Mad Lib. Big book of Mad Libs. Uh, it has three Mad Libs books, one shiny sticker, and one.
purple pen. It tells me on the back. And it includes, yeah, it tells me on the front too. <laughs> so, I've used this before. And, um, sticker sheet. Looks like I used one. There. Um, oh, here it is. On a different sticker sheet. And here's the sparkly purple pen. It says Mad Libs on it. Okay. I guess it doesn't work because I have a black pen in there. It's a regular one. I have one of those hair thingies in there. Let, let's look at the book. Um, there's three. Diva Girl Mad Libs. I don't even think I did this one yet. Oh, no. I think this is the one I filled up completely. Sleepover party mad lips. I'm pretty sure this is the one I filled up completely because I bring them to all my friends' sleepovers and we just fill them out. And mad lips in love. It's good for Valentine's Day. I should have done one of these. Maybe we'll, um, I can probably make a video of me making a mad lips and then reading it to you. Or I can, like, ask you guys in the comments to leave, like, If we're going to pick a random one on dating a twin, or no, how about say it with flowers, here we go, I'll ask you guys like, uh, there's like three nouns, plural nouns, I don't know. I'll ask you guys to like leave those in the comments and we'll fill them in and then it'll be a really fun story, so. Maybe that'll be something fun. I didn't really think about that until I was, like, looking through my closet of things to put in here, and I was just like, Mad Libs, I can make an awesome video about that. I'll put it in. So that's five, which is also five things that come in it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, I love this. I got it for Christmas last year. It's a fashion design activity kit, and obviously I used it many times. Let me show you this thing. It's really cool. Um, so I have a bunch of papers in here, and there's this, like, blank template thing. Well, it's just blank. And then in this drawer, this is a crayon inside that, and there's four colored pencils. And then there's these little things. This is all heads, and they're all double-sided. Uh, these are all shirts, and they're all double-sided. And then... These are all either skirts or dress, dresses, I mean, shirts, skirts or pants, and they're all double-sided, and, um, you, like, basically take, hold on, one of every kind, and you stick it in here, and then you put a piece of paper over it, and then you close it, and then you take your crayon, and you rub it, and it imprints the girl. Oh, I think this is the one I did recently. Or no, I think this is the one I just did recently. That's the one it was on. That's why she's on the top. Let's let me show you some of the ones I did. Okay. Why not? Let's see. Um, I have <laughs> this one I colored her in. Blank piece of paper. Kind of groovy. And then I got this one. Interesting. <laughs> this one. And this one. You probably can't even see these. This one. Oh, she's so groovy. And this one. I actually like that one a lot. This one. She looks like a mermaid hair. It's a cute outfit. Um, whoops. This one. I've been doing them double sides to save, like, at least. This, this is a really cute one. It's a nice outfit. I don't know. I basically like, stick with like a similar theme or something because like a lot of mine look the same. We didn't notice. So that's the sixth toy we have. Only two left. Aw. Fashion doodles. Use stencils, stickers, and pretty patterned paper. And I got this at BJ's, I remember. Looks like it was $8. Over 300 stickers. Here we go. These are all the stencils. It came with five stencil sheets. There's a bunch of them. And each one goes with a certain section. There are five sections in the book. 
Um, this one is shopping. And what you basically do is you follow the instructions and like draw in here and you use the stencils. Oh, I love that picture. Yeah, I like how it made the feathers. And then at the end, there's always some pattern paper and then stickers. So we got the beach theme. Wow, let's see the pattern paper. Mm. Pretty, like, Hawaiian thing. And then waves and then these are the stickers. Dressing up. That's horrible. Well, let's find this vision paper. Oh, this is the basic navy. This is a pretty print. And these stickers. I think they're all the same stickers, just different colors, maybe. <coughs> Sorry. Party. Looks like I haven't started this one yet. And then, ooh, looks like a runway thing. And like flowers. Orange. And then accessories. Sweatshirt. I'm all about sweatshirts. I have like so many sweatshirts. Bling. And hearts. And then some stickers. I don't think I've used any stickers yet. Or no, that's not true. I have used stickers. On the first page I used three stickers. And I also tried to color them in because that's all I could. But I can't. Uh, so, well, I like to keep the stencils with the book. It's a really cool book. It's really fun. I just like doing it. And you can also use the stencils on like just random pieces of paper. I have a bunch that I have like made outfits for and they're really cute. And so that's the seventh. We had a fun backpack. Now the last one. But it is my Beatles refill pack. Don't know why I put that in there. I just thought it'd be cool. Maybe I'll make some Beatles soon. <laughs> and Tim. This is my brother likes to say when he like trying to think of like Tim Tim. It works. It works. Again, this is my Beatles video. Show you the colors. This clear blue. I'm not holding it too close to the camera. They're not clear, they're transparent. Transparent yellow. They called them crystal, so I'll call them crystal. Crystal yellow, crystal blue. I love this one. Crystal pink, but it reminds me of like a corally color. It's really pretty. Crystal green. Oh, I like this one too. Crystal purple. Regular purple, regular blue, regular pink, regular black, and regular white. So there's ten colors, and each one comes with two of each, but I've used one blue, one pink, and one purple. I didn't use them all, but, like... I just have them in my bag. I have a plastic bag that I fill up with all the Beatles that I open. This is a nice way to organize them when you're like actually doing Beatles for like hours. <laughs> but I don't usually do that. I just keep them in the bag. So that was the eighth toy, you guys. I'm, I need to get this back in the box. Sometimes it's difficult because the box is shaped weird and like everything's shaped weird. Hold on, hold on. Going and it's in. Okay, my backpack is empty. No, I wanted more toys. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, that's all there is for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Click that subscribe button. <laughs> and um. Let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was. I'm going over them again. Little Tyke's camera. Frisbee. Tinkerbell wand. Boop. Boop. <laughs> um, Barbie horse. just want to have Mad Libs. My fashion design activity kit. Or just my fashion designer. That's what I like to call it. <laughs> I don't know why. Fashion doodle book. A lot of fashion things. And my Beto 
Joe's refill pack. I have to say, I really like my fashion doodles and my, I like my fashion things because they're fun. But also, I think this course is really cool. But I also really like my Mad Libs and my Beatles and my Frizzy. Look how cute that is. And my wand because I feel magical. And this camera's pretty fun. My favorite is all of them. Yay. So let me know what yours is in the comments. Bye for now.